What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Brian here. I got a cool video to show everybody today. Um been asked by a couple of you how I do my little custom Hot Wheels cars. And one in particular wants to know because they want to be able to make them themselves. And I think that's really cool. And I'm all about sharing. So I'm going to do a short video series. It'll probably be a few videos because I've got four main projects right now that I need to get done. And they're all very important in their own little ways. Speaking of projects, Will just got, Will Thompson, Thompson RC, just got his package from me. It was the tribute car to his dad, 1970 Dodge Dart. Came out really good. He's super duper happy. Sent him a couple extra cars. Super jacked about that. Makes me feel good. So uh, moving on to my next four projects. I'll go over those here in just a second. But basically, so this, this whole video series is going to take you from front to back on how I produce all of my cars, whether they're going to get rubber tires and plastic wheels, just a regular wheel swap, full paint, preparation for paint, how to get a car out of a card and then back into a card so it looks like it's still store-bought, how to take a card and get the label off the bottom and get it onto a nice new display, how to remake an M2 display into a Hot Wheels display, where to get your own displays if you want to just buy like a six pack, everything. What I use for my brass axles, I'll have links to everything. You know, basically starting with, you know, a video of kind of like, you know, getting the car out of the package. You know, sure you can just tear out of the package, but if you want to save things like the car, the whole car itself, you know, there's kind of a little process you do. Just simple stuff, you know, like nail polish remover and a paintbrush. You know, it's how I basically get the stuff out of the card. And 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 sometimes it won't come out perfect. And some things kind of work that way and kind of don't. Like when you have a premium car, like Will Thompson's next car that I'm doing, this is a kind of a tribute car for his brother, who sadly has also passed away. And uh, really cool Mitsubishi VR4. Uh, this, we're going to change this to white, pearl white actually, which is going to be a really fun color to do. And that's a really nice pearl white. Uh, so we got that coming up. But the labels for these are very difficult to get apart. It doesn't come off as easily with the old you know nail polish remover trick you got to soak it in there here's a little porsche one that i tested a while back to make sure it could even be done and it can but you got to soak it in the bottle for you know five or six minutes and then very gingerly take it off so i'm going to go through all that stuff now as far as the projects go like i said got will thompson's you know 3000 gt vr4 mitsubishi very cool car uh, I test drove one of these when they first came out when I was a kid and I uh, told them, you know, I, I'm about to come into all this money and they had a VR4 sitting there on the lot. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, kid. Yeah, yeah. Thinking he's going to get a sale, man. Now, I mean, it wasn't all Ferris Bueller's, you know, we took the car out and started jumping this thing, but I did get to drive the car. It was really, really cool. Uh, it was really funny to see the dealer who was probably 5'11", 220 pounds, pretty husky guy fitting in the back. Anybody who's ever been in a Dodge Stealth RT Twin Turbo or a Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4, you know that the back seat is non-existent. And he stuffed his little chunky butt back there to make sure that we didn't, you know, came back with the car. So anyway, we've got this coming out. Pearl White's going to be super duper nice. We're basically going to repaint the wheels that are on it white as well. Really appreciate it, Will, for letting me uh, do another project for you. Also, I've had this for a while. Uh, this is a gift to a very good friend of mine, Jason, out of Canada. Um, this is a, is a treasure hunt car. It's, he's really big into Batman. He's got a whole shrine of Batman on one wall, all Hot Wheels stuff. And I've been kind of collecting stuff along the way. I've got another Batman car here that's going to go to him. Super duper cool. He's just got it hanging on the wall. But uh, this is one of the cars that I told him I would do because it was a treasure hunt car. And I'm, I'm going to basically put some new wheels and tires on this stick it back in the card so that's going to be part of the video series how to get it back in what glue i'm using you know all that good stuff step by step everything that i do I, I i didn't make any of this stuff up myself some of it i did but i learned it from other people so it's time for me to pass it on i feel that i do a decent enough job to where you know i can tell people how i do it and they can start trying to mess around i mean these cars most of them are a dollar you know it's fun to hack them to bits and swap the wheels and do fun stuff to them so you, know, you screw one up it was a dollar but uh got got jason's car going then i got a car for my dad's buddy he got a hold of me 
a few weeks ago and uh, wanted me to see if I could get a 57 Chevy. I already took it out of the card. This is gonna go in a, in a display. This is gonna be black and white like a regular 57 painted you know back in the day he sent me a picture of it i'm sure i got it somewhere i don't know if i'll have it up in this video or not probably not i'm gonna try to get this one on tonight but uh this is gonna be really cool so i'm gonna take it i'm just gonna krylon this black and white i actually have matte black krylon and gloss white krylon and then i've got uh just a clear coat that's gonna turn that matte black into a shiny shiny black so this is gonna be very easy show you how i tape the whole thing off you know what to spray first how to prep the car some of these cars you gotta strip all the paint off this is not one of those cars i should be able to scuff this thing down it's not a dark color white will go over it no problem and cover everything so we're gonna take you through how i do this car and then buddy aaron man uh met this gentleman on my mercari app he actually had gotten a, a few other cars from me and uh this is one of his favorite cars it's one of my favorite cars 96 uh impala and uh I've already popped the wheels on it. Uh, it had these these wheels, actually. I put them on this BMW right here. So I basically swapped the wheels. I took the, the wheels. It, these are bigger, which is really nice. But I took the wheels off of this one and threw it on a nice premium BMW car. It's now it's a, a heavy track car. And it looks really good. This is, like, this is like the wheels that came on this car back in 96. So this also is going to be, hopefully, I'm going to try not to strip all the paint off of this because he wants matte black with gloss black racing stripes well it's already gloss black so i'm going to take the racing stripes off i'm going to scuff the rest of the car and matte black that whole thing and then probably clear coat it because i still think i'll get the definition from the gloss black and the matte black if not i can just you know reheat it with some matte black but this is going to be a really cool car as well so i've got that coming this is going to go to display and this is going to be even cooler than a regular normal display because this gets an extra little thing. Uh, he's from Dallas and he wants a Dallas skyline in the back of the display. Now some of my displays, I've put uh, Jason's display out of Canada. When I did his car, I took the card and chopped the picture of the car out of it and glued it to the back of the display. It came out really, really cool. Well, I'm gonna hand draw somehow, some way the skyline to Dallas and put it on the back of the display so when you look through the car and through the display you're gonna have that really cool dallas skyline in the background so i've got a ton of stuff coming guys but I'm, like i said i'm gonna show everybody exactly how i do it it'll be three or four videos uh, i got a ton of other stuff coming you guys know we're gonna vinyl the holiday buggy you guys know that <laughs> if semi is still sitting back here and is ready for me to, to plug away on it there's only re the only reason i haven't jumped back on that yet is because i had to fix two things on it last time i ran it i noticed that on the semi trailer itself one of my tail lights is out so i gotta rip that thing back apart and i gotta move the speaker because i want an interior so we've got that coming i've got the ruco the big cool amphibious car we're gonna take that thing out should get some snow here in a couple days so we might be able to get it into some snow we'll throw it in some water give that thing as much hell as i possibly can do a really cool review video on it but i just wanted to let you guys know especially the people who are waiting on cars i am starting now <laughs> but uh got some really cool projects coming we're gonna do really cool how to links for everything guys stick around man i've got a ton of stuff coming it's brian amazing rc see you guys soon